chilling out like, hey, yo, we're the Federation. Come at us, bro. Good afternoon, guys. Brian here, and today I want to give you my quick impressions on the uh, Star Trek Attack Wing expansion pack, the USS Equinox. Uh, so I picked this up when I picked up the miniatures game because I'm like, I want a ship of my own, and this one looks coolest. I don't really know where the Equinox came from. I don't really know much about it at all, other than the fact it looked kind of cool. So I picked it up. And admittedly, I've only played like one game or so with it, and so my experience might be slightly colored by that, but let's, let's get into the details of it. The ship itself, the model of it, if you guys will focus. Come on. It looks cool. I like the way this ship looks. It, like I said, I picked it solely for aesthetics. I like the uh, saucer section design. I like the angular parts of it. I just like the way this ship looks. Uh, now, it comes with two more missions. Um, under attack and under attack. No, I guess that's not... I don't know. It comes with two more missions that I haven't done. Uh, it comes with several more captains and some more equipment cards, including a uh, emergency medical hologram, which is kind of cool, because it can either be a crew upgrade or a tech upgrade, I think, is that symbol, which is kind of cool. I like the emergency medical hologram. Uh, for the movement of the ship, excuse me while I make a complete mess of all these cards that I nicely set out, he, uh, he's got some good maneuverability on it. Not a hugely fast ship, but it can go back and go forward. It's Kind of a nice ship design. It can regenerate its own shields, which is I, I find awesome. I love being able to regenerate shields. Uh, and of course it has some cardboard uh, stuff for it. On the ship itself, when I played, we used up all the cards we had, so I mixed them all together. And I ended up playing this ship with Captain uh, Rudolph Ransom here. And... He has that, if I have a defense token, or an evade token, uh, by my ship, I get to roll two defense dice. And I combine that with Data, who gave me two dodge tokens. So basically, when I was on the defensive, I was super hard to hit. But the problem is, I could never really hit very hard with this ship. I mean, it's got a two attack and a two defense. So the two defense, I could get up to like four or five if I was far enough away. And it was really hard to hurt me. But I was like having no offensive capabilities. So I ended up losing that match. Now, that said, it was one-on-one -on -one fight. So maybe if I were to do things a little differently, I, I might have better luck next time. But yeah, I lost. But if you guys want to see what it looks like next to some other ships, there is the Enterprise... I've got the Klingon, um, I don't remember what this is called. Oh, it probably says right there. The IKS Mata. Yeah, I can never pronounce that name. And of course, a Romulan Warbird. So, not hugely consistent in scale, I believe. Because, again, the Warbird, I think, is supposed to be, like, this big. But... It looks kind of cool. I mean, you can put it next to the Enterprise and it looks really kind of cool seeing the pair of them just chilling out like, hey, yo, we're the Federation. Come at us, bro. And then the Klingons and the Romans are like, yeah, blow up. But for my final thoughts is I do enjoy the game. I need to play more of it, though. And speaking of that, if you guys want to see Plan D everyone play a game of Star Trek Attack Wing, leave a comment down below and I'll see what we can do. Uh, might have to buy some more ships for it. <laughs> Because, you know, that'd be a horrible, horrible thing to have to start doing. No. Anyway, I'm rather enjoying this. Or I, I enjoy this game. I enjoy this miniature. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say about it. I am curious to know what you guys think of this. What ship do you guys really like the look of? What uh, is your favorite Star Trek ship design period, actually? I'm rather a fan of the Voyager. And then I don't remember the name of that ship. Uh, it just came out. I think it has four nacelles. That's the number four. Not that. Um, and it kind of has a like angular design. I'm, I'm tempted to get that one because it's cool. But I also love Klingons, so I'm tempted to get more Klingons. So, anyway, what's your favorite ship design, guys? What, what's your favorite Star Trek ship? What do you guys think of the uh, Star Trek miniatures game? I'm curious on what you guys think. 
I also want to take a moment to sincerely say thank you guys to those of you who have subscribed to us and those who continue to watch our videos and spread the word about us. You are amazing and we do not deserve your awesomeness. Uh, so we will continue to strive to deserve your awesomeness. And yeah, all, all the love and bromance in the world for you. Until next time, guys, this is Captain Brian saying second star to the left and straight on till lunchtime. Yung!